You're watching News 54. Child is equal. Every Kenyan child is equal. In fact, for us, we don't bother about a, private, a child in private school or public school. Every Kenyan child must be treated equally. And so I hope this point has gotten home. Again, for the, uh, for the avoidance of doubts, that education stakeholders group had all the private school owners there, they were represented, including the international school owners, whom I, I also believe are here. So there is no special child for His Excellency the President. In fact, he's more attracted to the poor child who is in the slums. So I hope that matter is, is rested, because we have received reports that certain people have already sent fee guidelines that they, they want their grade force to, to report. Go and create your country, create your government, and then create your, university, your education system. <laughs> so all schools, both public and private, must are there to what we decided together. On, in terms of empowering the, the, the schools to, to get back to work, you remember we were supposed to give 15 billion last term, but we gave only 7.5. Even those head teachers who are here, the good news, and you should rush back to your school because I want you to make them ready, you will find that there is money already in your accounts because we have wired 7.5 billion to the secondary schools to ensure that you get COVID ready by Monday. And we are going to work with you through our field officers as much as, 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 as far as we can. Further, we have requested the third term 13 billion for secondary schools and 2.8 billion for primary schools. And I think this money should be available towards the end of next week. So we don't want to hear any excuse that you have not been empowered to run the schools. But having said so, I want to thank you also for having done an excellent job in the past because you had ensured that your children were well taken care of. And uh, we thank the president for having dared to open the schools because you can just imagine if he was not bold enough to open the schools, we would have had no exams to, to be marking now. And you can still hear a, a little noise here and there saying, oh, so, so you should wait. And My friend, I like the president because he makes decisions and he moves by them. We, we shall open on Monday. And as far as we follow the Ministry of Health protocols, the rest we leave to God, isn't it? But it is also better because when the vaccine comes, I'm aware that about half of you teachers have been vaccinated. When vaccine comes, we shall ensure that all of you who voluntarily accept to be vaccinated shall be vaccinated possibly by the end of next month. And so we shall ensure that uh, everything goes on. And all I want to say before I, I release you is that uh, we are working on different times. This is your first sacrifice. There's another sacrifice coming soon. Because as soon as these results are released, we shall embark on the next examination, which is now for this year, 2021. And since this is already May, you can imagine how late we are. So in order for us to, to claw back the time that we lost, it means we expect you to continue to sacrifice yourself. Not for anybody, you are sacrificing for your country and your own children and grandchildren. I want to thank you very much. Uh, my last charge is that uh, for those people, the 35 centers who have been marking, they are all around here. And uh, Dr. Juan, can we ensure that if it is possible, we fumigate them before Monday, which means you have no weekend. That's it. We fumigate them. Uh, the, the 
COVID preparedness was there. You just need to inject and ensure there is more sanitizer, more water. Because I'm going to be moving around, especially for those 35. All the others uh, who, who, are, who had enough time to look at the schools, we have looked at them, and I think they are quite in order. Santeni sana, may the good God give us time to see tomorrow. Santeni sana.